Hello, Fisa Junkies, and welcome to this YouTube channel. My name is Marco, and today we are going to do another Aerodance Advanced class. Without the music, I'm going to break it down. I'm going to teach you and give you some advices on how to achieve this choreography really easily. If it's your first time on this YouTube channel, click to the notification button, click to the, click, uh, the subscribe button also, and let's start with some symmetrical choreography. So I'm going to start with just some step knees. So I have one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once again, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great. Now that I have this, what I want to do, I want to use a little bit of my space. I'm going to here on the side to have everything that I want. I'm going to just add a baby mambo back with some, uh, with some baby mambos just afterwards. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, really easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So once again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, seven. Great. Really easy to do. Just go on the side, add your baby mambo, and then add your baby mambo back, and then add your baby mambo. Now that I have this, what I want to do, I want to just turn a little bit, okay? Instead of doing my baby mambo there, I want to just do a turn and then just be here. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The three here is going to be important. Three here. Five, six, seven, eight. The same thing applies here. Two, three, four, and five. Here, okay, just put a knee. When you're going to do a ball change, you're going to add a knee just afterwards, okay? So if instead of just doing here baby mom back, I'm going to anticipate here and then I'm going to do a ball change directly. So watch carefully. One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So be strong on the count number three, okay? When you're doing your jump, just be strong on the count number three on your knee. Let's just do it one more time to confirm it, and then let's go to the next stage. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, and one, two, Three, four, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great. Now that I have this, what I want to do, I want to just add a chasse instead of doing a knee. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, and one, two. Three and four, five, six, seven, eight. Really easy to do, okay? There is no traps, just add the ball change here, then add a chasse, and baby mambo here, done. Yes for you? I think so, don't worry. We're going to do it one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, and one, two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight. So just use the amplitude of your movement, okay? Hop here, and then step touch, you're done. Yes, no, maybe, I think so. So now that I have this, what I want to do, I want to change a little bit my first knee because I want to spice a little bit of my choreography. I can stay like this, but I want to have a little bit of amplitude, a little bit of 
space and orientation in micrography. So let's start with, so your step knee, you can change it with a step chassis. So you can have this, so I have one and two, three, four, five and six, seven, eight, and one, two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three, four, five and six, seven, eight, and one, two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight. Step touch. Yes? Okay, so chassis, you are going to do just a little bit of circle here, here, okay, and then go there for now. Okay, for you, you want it just one more time? Let's do it just one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three, four, five and six, seven, eight and one, two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three, four, five and six, seven, eight and one, two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight. Done. Great. Now that I have this, what I want to do, I want to just play a little bit with my orientation. So instead of just doing a chassis and then doing your ball change here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to orientate my little bit myself. The count number five is going to be the one that is most important. So do a little bit on the faces when you're doing your didactics on this count. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three, four, Five and six, seven, eight and one, two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three, four, five and six, seven, eight and one, two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight. Step touch. Yes? Okay. So, what did I did? I had my circle here and then just orientation there beam to continue my choreography, okay? So just, just do it one more time, one more time easily, and then let's go to the next level. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three, four, five and six, seven, eight and one, two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight. Great, I'm here now, okay? So do your circle chasse, here, jump, turn, chasse again, here, step touch, beam, and uh, there you're done. So you can always spice a little bit with your baby mambos or uh, with your hands. For now, it's really great, so I don't need to change it a little bit. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. If you have any questions, comments, do it below, and I will be seeing you tomorrow for the next video. So, bye-bye. Have a nice day.